Hello everyone! How are you guys doing? And thank you so much for coming to my channel! And I think this is a really good one because whale is so much fun to paint. And I can see that you can, like I have the, uh, the kind of purple lilac paint of washi tape around and you can probably see that you will prob probably want to paint this one and put it on your wall, you know, just for fun. And uh, so I hope that you guys will uh, follow me and watch the whole thing and then see if you can gather all your supply Okay, and all the information will be on my blog sunsetpeony.com I'll put that in the description down below and um, So when we were finishing it this painting together, I told you that I will take a little bit of white um, Okay, I might zoom in a little bit of a white gouache and put that on the eye and so it is over there Okay, but since this uh, whale is so big it is really kind of hard for us to um, see that from this distance, okay? And uh, so, and I didn't add anything else. Uh, we did the clownfish together uh, with the, because that color kind of give the the whale is so intensely blue, you know, uh, indigo, royal blue, turquoise, and so I needed some orange. I felt to kind of break it up, and so it uh, accomplished that purple. And so we have a couple of technique over here, but this will be actually kind of. Uh, really fun because you can see the blotch the blotchiness of the whale right and so we don't have to worry because the whale actually do look like that and so we don't have to worry about um you know kind of try to make it very smooth because it's a rose or it's a tulip you know and the color is not blotchy but with the whale we can just be free and so one of the techniques that we go through here is the background because um, I know that I don't show a lot of the full background and how to control the color so it, it will give us the effect that we want, okay? And I didn't do any color splashing because I don't know, I kind of wanted the water to be calmer today instead of splashy, like splashy. But if you want to, you can also splash some, like next to the fin, you can splash some, you know, little droplet there if you wanted to. But anyway, Yes, and you can uh, just uh, follow me along and uh, have fun. And if you have any question, you can ask me. You know, you can go to my blog and ask me there, or you can go to uh, Facebook and ask me there, and uh, and all the information. And today I uh, I went into a different fine brush because you know that my other one I need to have a funeral for him, right? Because he's uh, almost dead, and so I'm trying these two. They're okay. You know, they're just as good as a uh, small brush will do, okay? But these are the very fine brush. So if you can find yourself a very, very pointy fine brush, just use those, okay? And because the background is a little bit bigger, so I I change in midway from my flow brush into this uh, Dugato number two, okay? You can get this from Amazon. If you go to my blog, you will see the product. Uh, there's a product uh, link and then it will have you know where you can find it. This one it has you can hold a lot of water in it. Actually, I have bigger brush, but that's okay. You know, and then um, I use this uh, little number two to do the clownfish, and they were very good to us, and we have fun with them. And so, and this is all done. And uh, I uh, don't want to talk too much. I just wanted to uh, leave you guys here with the intro part and sign my painting, and then you guys can actually go in and. Uh, have a good time and have fun and gather up all your uh, all your paints and whatever whatnot that you need okay mainly blue color any of the dark blue greenish blue and uh, if you have some turquoise that would be kind of nice too because you know water turquoise we love those right we love those color of turquoise okay and so that's what we use okay hey thank you very much and uh, we will let you get started and if you haven't subscribed to me please do because it gives me a lot of encouragement to continue to think about things and think about composition and do things to uh, make more nice painting because I felt that if you subscribe to me, you guys are happy with what you what I have been doing. And so please do that, okay? And I uh, love you guys very much and thank you uh, uh, for being here. And we will yeah, paint together, okay? Okay, let's get started. Um, okay, let's uh, <laughs> do my usual thing. Take the eraser and kind of get some of the even remove off the pencil mark. I wanted to make it a point to remove this pencil mark of the, of the back fin. I'll show you on my practice here. Um, I uh, made a mistake right here. It doesn't look correct because I'm uh, letting the light 
you know, come through here. And so I need to have a, a band of light over here too. So I'm going to make sure that that pencil mark is not there so that it, we will be able to accomplish the purpose of making it kind of lighter. And uh, when I was, uh, you know, drawing and drafting this, I wasn't thinking, you know, too hard. Okay, now um, for detail today, we're going to try this Chinese brush because I think last time during the um, the iris, you guys see that see that my poor little detail brush had the, you know, it's quite at its last leg. We might still bring him out, but uh, I'm going to try this. It's, it, this is really detailed, and I used that on the iris too. And this one, this one is the Princeton Velvet Touch. Uh, also get the black uh, art, okay. And so those are the details, but uh, I'm I'm going to use the flow brush because uh, I'm just using that and find that I, I'm used to that, so I'm just happy, okay, um, to have that uh, with me. And so, uh, for no reason, let's start over here and do this uh, patch over here, okay? Now, um, oh no, actually, we wanted to do this whole area here, uh, light blue, and so how we're gonna do it is I'm going to use royal blue and mix that a little bit with the pink gray, okay? So, it's kind of like a grayish blue, and uh, so that will, um, what, what that does is like, it gives the paper um, some kind of, um, it gives the paper uh, a little bit of a, because the whale is so intense, the color. And so well, if we put a little layer of a color that is kind of light there um, in the beginning, uh, the second time when we come back to do the second layer, it seems to be able to absorb, um, the color better okay and so we're gonna i think this one is going to be now you can see that it's either the pink gray or the royal blue royal blue is uh, sedimentary okay and so right away it just wanted to settle and so um, i guess it's a painting where we need to kind of work fast okay work a little bit faster uh, as fast as we can uh, work fast what i mean is not fastly over the paint uh, the through the whole painting is uh, when we put down the color we um, need not, uh, well, you guys uh, usually don't talk to people, not like me, I had to, <laughs> I have to talk. And so I, uh, sometimes I just uh, waving my brush around and, you know, and uh, kind of dawdle. But uh, when I mean work fast is we need to uh, just kind of keep it in mind that if I don't come in here right after I put the little bit of pigment in and uh, smooth it out, it will it will uh, become set you know it will settle onto the painting very very fast onto the paper the paint will settle onto the paper yeah don't finally get the words out right you know a lot of you has uh, had uh, after i told you last time that i had covid a lot of you are so kind to leave me message that i will feel better and you're glad that i'm feeling better and uh, i feel so much better you you know, it's, it really is a big contrast when you go through a period of illness and uh, and suddenly you feel better again. It is a very, very good feeling. <laughs> I treasure that feeling, like treasure that right now, right? You know, just uh, all, you know, <coughs> like st still have a little cough with me, but relatively, you know, quite well. And that's, uh, that's nice, you know. And so it's still the same royal blue, and then I'm coming in here to... Uh, do this area and I can actually come all the way into the eye area and then you see why you see why later okay and this is just a light blue you know so you can um, if your palette had any kind of lighter blue kind of muted blue not too sharp then you can use that it's just um, for the base color really that show through uh, when we put in the more intense color for the whale I guess at this point I will have put a, a painting on the corner here so that you can, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And so this is just uh, nothing but a kind of like a base painting. So that when we, uh, when we do the second layer, we will have something on the background. That's one of the, you know, um, uh, Sister Robin, one of my first uh, teacher, that's the thing she told me. She said, yeah, you know, the paper is like totally just, um, you don't have nothing, you know, sometimes maybe just like put some water on it will make it 
uh, you know, kind of open up the the fiber and make the make it you know more obedient, I guess, to your you know eventually layering of more you know more color on top. Okay, so that's what we're doing. So nothing to stress about because there will be second layer on that, and so don't worry too much. Just um, you know follow along the area where I'm putting it on, and then you will you will see. That is, is uh, you know, if you have meaning, if you have any flaws or anything, <coughs> don't worry. I seems to want to cough for some reason, but uh, you know, see, my husband is still coughing. It's very sad, right? He's still coughing from COVID, but not as much as the first three weeks. But sometimes I will hear him just kind of break into a a cough, you know. But some of our neighbors actually tell us that uh, uh, they're still coughing after a month. But it just kind of, you know, it really is not that intense. It's just kind of go down in the intensity, really. Wow, Utah is getting really hot, and we are now up into the close to the hundred degree. And so, um, as for this part, ah, uh, yes, yeah, let, let's put some on it. You know, I'm just uh, thinking that do we need to put some on this fin? Actually, I will try to do so because it will just. Uh, kind of give us a roadmap, okay, on what we can do later, and so let's just do that, just kind of put this on right there, okay, just a light wash of that blue, okay, so in case something show through, some of it won't be white, but some area it will be white, okay, now so since this is the first area and I'm counting on it being quite dry, I'm, I'm just going to go in here, okay, to work on this area right now, okay, I'm adjusting the light you know I'm getting used to my my environment right now <laughs> and it's nice okay now so what I'm going in is now I'm going into the color indigo you know which is uh, this color right right here in my green mix that's the indigo color okay but instead of going in with any other green color I'm going into the royal blue okay now that's what I'm going to do because this color as my practice it come out quite pretty so I'm you know, I'm thinking to myself, I wanted to do that, okay? And so, now you can see that I'm going in around the fin, okay? In around the side fin, and I'm going in actually in quite, uh, you know, I wanted to have a little sharp point right there. I'm going in quite thick. Okay, and have that curve around because that's the nature of the whale. And then I wanted to have this uh, curve over here a little bit too, okay? So make this uh, round thing with a little curve and I will, don't worry, I will have the drawing uh, ready for you guys to, um, if you need it, if you need it uh, to go with a drawing and it will be, it will be on my blog, okay? Also. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here and, you know, just uh, with very intense color and I'm just gently as, uh, as I go, make this area bigger and bigger, okay? But we want the, the intense color to keep going. And so in, in, in a sense, this painting is kind of like the iris, okay? We're doing very, very intense uh, intense uh, color. And uh, since these are sedimentary color, because I think indigo is also a sedimentary color. So when you guys are going through with the, you know, going along here with the indigo color, make sure that you, um, if there's any area that you felt like you need to soften up, which is coming up here in just a minute, okay? Then you need to kind of be a little faster, okay? Okay, I'll show you, okay? So I'm not actually quite worried because that this is very nice because it's a whale. And so what the whale does provide for us is time uh, for us to... Um, for us to uh, not worry about having to do a big area together, right? But why is that? Because a, ve a whale is very patch patchy, okay? So if you, you know, make a mistake and make a ugly patch, you know, don't worry because the then that's their, the, the, their, their skin, right? It's kind of, you know, just a patchy color. So you, we don't have to worry about that. It's not smooth like you are. You know, I don't know what is smooth. It's an orange smooth if you're painting an orange. I guess you don't you don't want to have a, too much of a patchy color, um, you know. And I, I think even if you're painting an apple, you can still allow yourself to have a little bit of patchy. And so you know, 
we don't need to be too nervous okay I'm going to just outline this area sharply just a little bit okay now over here there's an angle of almost a straight line okay and that's a very important angle for you to remember to take why is that because it will give the um, it will give the, uh, the mouth a squareness to it okay a bigness to this uh, horizontal area and I guess as you can tell from the from the uh, painting or uh, on the corner that I'm going to put in some little uh, clown fish right and uh, of course you know I don't have to uh, be too worried about it the inspiration is uh, of course thinking about the whale in Finding Nemo right and uh, I uh, I got very very stressed during that point of the movie because I you know and when they get to meet the turtle then I'm uh, all a little bit relaxed and happy again <laughs> I don't know if it happened, you know, to you guys, you know, I guess we can talk, talk about that, you know, you know, we're just putting away with some clownfish, we're not uh, copying anybody, but um, I will, you know, as the painting go, I will show you more, okay, uh, how to come about doing that. You know, we're not copycat, we're just, uh, I could, because I think the whale is so much blue color. It is so much blue color in it and so it is uh, very uh, important you know if we can somehow work some uh, of the um, uh, work some of orange you know and so I say uh, that's like you know because the opposite color of the blue is orange right and then there's I thought to myself there's no better fish than put some clownfish uh, on the side you know just uh, because everybody know about that you know and I have to confess to you I have never um, you know, I read a lot of books, you know, but I have never um, read Moby Dick. But you know what I have done though, you know, since I'm an artist is I actually had went down to the library, the library in my happy place, right? And I actually had went down to the library and, um, and had, uh, okay, now, so we're going to go uh, come over here with uh, 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 intense wash over here and go around the eyes okay we're not going to go into the eyes and I'll show you how we're gonna do the eyes in a minute uh, uh, I did I never had the chance because probably don't have time there's uh, many other options have never um, read Moby Dick but you know the other book that uh, but uh, I have uh, actually went down to BYU you know our local library here and actually uh, went into the 1800 and uh, and uh, and went through a lot of whale, um, whaling. I guess that's what you call it. You know, a long time ago when people go and catch whale, they have these major whale boats. And um, a lot of artists actually love to, um, or had, uh, did a lot of oil painting. You know, but they also, they have, um, you know, some a lot of oil artists actually use uh, watercolor as their sketching tool. So I have actually seen a lot of um, a lot of painting of uh, whaling boats and uh, you know and it's quite uh, you know if I may say so it's quite bloody you know it's quite sad and uh, you see how sad the whales are and um, because I think the whales are actually really intelligent animals right from what we understand and so I have uh, actually went in and, and saw a lot of those uh, painting about how uh, the artists actually portray um, now I'm using a clear brush and like pull out the color okay this is the intense color and it's going to go clean clear not not clear like lighter color you know and so it will help you the to uh, convey the the roundness of the of the whale okay and so here we go we're doing that and uh, you know and continue to pull these uh, pull these uh, but not with a really wet and um, puddly brush because then the color will push back on the sediment and that wouldn't be a a good thing but if it does and it is blotchy like I said earlier right we don't worry about too much because it is a whale and the whale sometimes is quite blotchy the body you know and the color so you know um, so you don't need to stress, you know, not even with this painting, okay, over, you know, the blotchiness if you can't, like, really control the, the movement of the water over here, okay, or the placement of it, whatever you call that. 
Okay, so let's keep going on this area and keep going. And all the while, do you see that I leave some white over here? Okay, because that's just pretty. There's a separation between the top part and the bottom part of the whale, of the whale body. Okay, that's how I choose to do that. Yeah, and so back to some of the, you know, with the whaling uh, painting. I don't know if I would be able to, you know, um, I have a little bit more privilege, you know, because uh, of my husband's uh, as a professor, I can actually um, sometimes uh, borrow uh, art book for a little bit longer than like for say, for, you know, for example, the student. And so sometimes I, you know, don't have time or spend too long of a time need to come home and cook dinner, whatnot. I would usually um, borrow the art book and just take it home. I have a little hump here, okay? So I wanted to point out this point that there is a little hump here. Um, in nature, actually the hump might not really be there, but I, I felt like, uh, I felt like with the, our mind, we like that. Okay, we like that because we know that this is a humpback. And so we, uh, we uh, uh, you know, I, I, try, I try to do things like that. I am. I am, uh, you know, just that kind of artist, right? I just, um, you know, I sneak things in there, you know, to further emphasize the form and the shape of uh, whatever I wanted to paint, even though, you know, it might not necessarily be there. But if I can sneak it in without getting away, uh, without getting too far away from the characteristic, I will do that. So I just put that little hump there as I was drawing, you know, just to you know, suggest to the mind that, you know, just further enhance him, okay? And so I'm actually quite happy with this part. I'm just gonna let the water, and then I'm going to, now I'm going into this part right here. Oh, let's see, I don't need this color, put that away. And uh, I'm going to go into this part right here and just, uh, you know, keep going, okay? So I, I don't know if this will take long, and it might, uh, it might not. And so now I'm going into the same color, okay? Uh, just like what I say earlier, indigo plus uh, indigo plus uh, royal blue. Okay. Now you can tell. I know that a lot of times uh, some of you might not have. You know, I, I I randomly choose that. I actually I didn't. I have talked about my story of uh, how I come come about with having a lot of royal blue, right? Because uh, I ordered it from an Amazon seller, and I guess it must be that I I just felt so bad sometimes. You know that a lot of people has an order, you know, from their their stuff for a long time. He gave it to me uh, for, uh, he gave me an extra, either one or two extra tube of uh, Royal Blue. And I, you know, I really appreciate that because I really love the color of Royal Blue and I use that quite a bit in my painting. And so I'm already, yeah, I think I already ran through the first tube and onto the second tube. And uh, so, um, I have that, and I know that, um, but you know, you guys, if you, uh, Indigo, okay, this is Indigo plus Royal Blue, um, because Indigo has a little bit of green in here, and so Indigo, indigo is very good to paint a sea animal, okay? If you guys, uh, after you learn how to paint this, decided to go ahead and paint like, for example, um, a dolphin or, a, you know, a, a shark or something else, you can actually use the Indigo. It might be a, actually a, you should try it, you know, you know, because I, I all also myself intend to, you know, go uh, delve into all those uh, animals because if I'm going to be on YouTube for a while, I need to uh, be quite good with you guys, right? Like, um, like not quite good. Uh, I mean, you know, like uh, go into a lot of different animals or whatever. And so I have that, you know, we will, we will get to them one day. But if you guys uh, say that, oh, I'm going to just uh, go ahead and do it myself, you know, you of course, you're welcome to do that and see and let me know if you uh, find that uh, indigo is actually a really good color because it's like almost like a blue color, you know, with green in there. So it's good for background for all kinds of things. OK. Okay, so now I'm pulling the, I'm using a clean brush, not a lot of water. It seems like that's too much for me. So I need to take some out and just pull the color out, okay? We're pulling the color and 
right over here is what I usually do. I actually leave this. That's why I take away the uh, pencil mark here, okay? I leave this for some other of the watercolor that I'm going to do with you, with you guys in a minute. And also, you know, so the form of the whale is quite round, right? As you, as you paint, you know, because then there's the dark and the light is how a, a tubular object uh, with the sun shining on it, that's how it looks like, okay? With darker side, the shady side, and then we're going into the lighter side, okay? And so, uh, make sure you leave some white area over here because that's just uh, pretty, okay? You know, very, very nice over there, okay? So I'm actually quite happy and I'm going to watch it while I'm painting the other part, okay? Now this is the other side of the fin where I I told you that in my um, in my uh, practice, I uh, painted the whole thing dark. And so after I did that, when the painting was done, I realized that, hey, you know, no, I need to leave the white just like what, how I leave white with the body of the whale, okay? So this is where we're working on right now, okay? Like right this point. Over here, okay, make it dark. Okay, and then I'm going to pull the color out. Okay, all right, so that uh, that is so much better, okay? And hope this darker color doesn't run into that white area, okay? And as we do the background, which means the water, we will uh, further, you know, be able to, you know, accentuate that. But for this fin over here, we can just go ahead and make it like kind of just a little bit blue. Let's pick up a little bit blue, a uh, darkish color, okay? You realize that, um, you need to use a quite intense of a color when you when you're doing this painting and so when you're doing the background some of these pigment will start running will start running into the water but we don't really worry about it okay and we don't care because that will be okay you know it'll be okay with us okay so in this area is still a little bit wet let's go to this fin okay now so this is the top of the fin and this is the whitish part of the fin right and so we don't want to have so intense of a pigment so we will just dilute that okay dilute that uh, pigment that we have and then just come in here you know i am chinese and i really like to eat fish okay my mom had taught me how to eat fish since I, since I was, <laughs> you know, I mean, of course I'll never go and eat a whale, but <laughs> the both time on my practice and now doing this, uh, this video, I, uh, it made me salivate just thinking about the fin of a whale. You know, I don't know why, you know, I am um, also a very, uh, uh, I really uh, like seafood, okay? And so I like the sea saltwater fish. A lot okay and so I uh, and now that is a little bit of intense right pigment and so I'm gonna pull it out so it's very whitish okay so I actually um, do like to uh, steam fish that's uh, one of our delicacy because my my father is from a province in China that is very uh, uh, it's a fishing it's a fishing village I guess you can call that and so we um, we like to, um, he learned to eat also, you know, and so did my mom, and so they uh, they uh, teach us how to eat fish since we were really young. And so looking at the fin, and uh, I always like, I we always like the fin part. It's very, very yummy. I know that if you don't live in a coastal area in United States, a lot of you, um, you know, I, I guess it's just not the Western diet, they don't, um, I know that in Jesus' time, they always talk about fish, right? Um, his the disciples are the fishermen. And so they always bring fish, you know, okay. So I'm doing intense color, but I like to leave a ring of white, okay? A little bit of a white area over there, okay? And then I'm going to pull this out. Pull this out, continue to pull this out. I love that. And because uh, this area of this of the, the, this part of the fin is quite dark because it's, you know, the top part. So it's the same as the, really it's the same as the skin, okay? So we can just use intense, same the indigo and the royal blue color, you know? 
and just keep working our way, you know, to the very end, okay? And I wanted to show you, um, I did that uh, when I was practicing and I, and I like the effect because uh, even though it's sepia, it gives, uh, it gives a break to the intense uh, blue that we're doing, okay? Intense blue color. So in a little bit, when we have a minute, I'm going to go in here with, uh, with some sepia and drop some color around, around here when I'm talking about where I'm at right now, okay? And so that you guys can see that. And uh, if you think that that's just uh, not necessary, then you guys don't have to do that, okay? Sometimes I just like to kind of give a break to things, you know, so that they're not like so intense, right? And so that's what I did in the in my original practice. And so I'm going to do the same thing right here. And then it turns the, you know, because sepia is kind of like a brownish color. And of course, indigo and blue are blue. And so the blue plus the brownish color, it kind of turned the area black. And I think that was quite pretty. Okay, so what we're doing with the, uh, with the fin over here is that we are just leaving white as we go. Okay, just letting it be an intense color. There's not much uh, stress. There's not much of a pattern that we're doing. Okay, and leave some white at the very end. Okay, I think that's uh, that's quite good. And if you guys uh, agree, I don't know if you agree or not. Okay, and so pretty much uh, the body is uh, quite done. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, very uh, small brush, okay? And I'm going to uh, find a black color or you can use a pink gray, okay? I might want to use the lamb black because it's just right in front of me. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, yeah, let me uh, see if I can just for a minute get this closer to you, see if you can see, okay? And nobody's going to remind me how to back out in a minute. And so this area, okay, I'm going to, you know, the... The, the pupil, the area that's next to the pupil, okay? Now you can see that this uh, this little brush does not like to pick up a lot of pigment. You know, just like the other little brush because that's the, you know, the, the character of a little brush, right? Because they don't have a lot of hair on it, so they don't like to pick up a lot of pigment. So we always need to struggle, but we like them because uh, we're happy that uh, the people actually make little brush without them and so I'm doing the two triangle that's next to the the pupil okay and so that is how I make the and then at the very end I might go in with some white gouache or something to make the uh, to put the dot there so you can see the eye of the whale it's very very hard to see the eye of the whale we know that right because um, okay let's try this other little brush and do the little uh, circle area and see if uh, I don't have a lot of hope <laughs> that this little guy will pick up a lot of the black, but we're gonna try, okay? Okay, so we do just do the best that we can, okay? Whatever you have, we don't stress about it and don't, you know, because you guys are, you know, you guys are doing very well. And thank you for all the, all the painting that you sent me that you've done, you know? It really um, is happy day for me. It's very rewarding that you guys are actually you know, doing well, okay? So what I did is, it's very hard to tell, but I'm putting a little bit of circle there. You know, as a fish eater, I know that, right? I know that there are lines right next to the fin, and that part is really yummy too. And uh, I like to eat that part, and so I'm putting a little bit, okay? Now, so this is still the eye. And so I have a little bit of a bluish area, and I know that I need to come in there and put a little bit of the white so you can at least see it a little bit better. Okay, now, so uh, the little detail part is done. And so let me back out a little bit so you can see, you know, the, so the, uh, actually it's not that you can't see, it's actually the, um, the, uh, what do you call that? Uh, the, uh, the quality is better, you know, that you can see the definition better. Okay, now, so I'm going to go back in with my flow brush and then now since now we're going to try to uh, develop the belly here and the line that is going up and down okay now we don't want to do a lot of details but this belly area is going to be even though it's whitish or bluish okay because it's reflecting the color we still wanted to have the shadow there okay 
have a lot of shadow there so that it would not be so glaring to the eye okay so we're coming in here and so this color I'm doing is the same as the beginning I'm just intensify it it's the pinks gray plus the uh, plus the uh, royal blue okay I'm gonna make this so that it is a darker darker area okay and I'm going to leave a little bit of white but I also this patch over here I wanted to have the bluish waterish color over here okay and so this is what I'm doing okay just uh, all the way over there you like that now I'm going to reserve some of this area actually I will actually uh, show you um, it's going to be a little bit of a colorful okay now we'll start with this pink brush okay and we'll see if um, if this pink brush is going to be good to us and be willing to pick up uh, uh, the color that we want okay so I'm going to go with uh, mainly indigo and still a little bit of royal blue okay now so I'm trying to load the brush and then I'm going to uh, start from here and pulling the line of the whale okay so what I do is like I just uh, drop in a line here okay and this, this line it can be kind of a little bit broken because um, you know the way we look at the whale we can't really see that it is uh, well one is you know I guess you you know of course I've never seen a whale oh yes of course I do when the kids were young we we, we actually see um, the killer whale right at a, a, a sea whale you know that was one of our favorite t activity you know to just go see the uh, shamus I guess yeah that's what they call it and I guess they don't do that anymore you know, and I understand I'm not criticizing or promoting anything or, you know, expressing my feelings, you know. I, I do am uh, quite, I, I quite like animal, as you guys know that. And I actually quite like animal in the wild. You know, I like to see them in the wild. That's why I always go to Yellowstone, because it's just really awesome to see them there. But, you know, animal in the wild sometimes is, is just a very tough world. You know, you guys know that. You know, I'm going to paint a fox with you guys. Um, very soon and I will have a story of foxes to tell you guys and um, it's not a easy place for them to live but you know I'm sure that they are happier you know and I, I was just telling my husband I am not uh, liking bear as much as I used to anymore I still like them a lot you know it's really fun to see that I, I, I study and beginning to know how the how the bear you know, mommy bear is actually really nice, and so I love them. Wow, but some of the male bear are just so aggressive, you know, it's just uh, very, very sad, you know, how they kill or try to kill the little bears, okay? And so, um, I like mommy bear, if that's okay with you guys, a lot. And so, uh, I I have never seen uh, a whale in the wild because I have never, like, been, like, my sister-in-law does, she's seen a... Uh, you know, she see whaling as she go to fishing in uh, in Alaska and things like that. She does things like that. I've never done that. It's just not. Uh, I like fishing, but not my cup of tea to go up to Alaska and do that. You know, and I, and so I've never seen uh, anything like that. You know, one time we were in San Diego and my sister wanted to um, take us to see the whale. You know, with my children, and then we they decided that. Um, uh, a long time ago, they actually put. Um, okay, I'm just doing. I'm just putting some pigment, and then I'm coming in to soften it because that's how I perceive that they will look in nature. Okay, that the line are not just so harsh and identifiable. Okay, so that's how I, you know, kind of think about and wanted to do it this this way. Okay. And uh, just like you know me always you know I don't really like to put a lot of, a lot of lines on things you know and just uh, you know this is this is how I like it but I'm going to come in and do a little bit more in a minute okay and so uh, let's uh, go on and do I think I wanted to do the background first before I do the clownfish okay and so uh, let me do this okay just a second 
Okay, let's um, do the background. Okay, I put the tape like quite close to the to the um, to uh, let me back out. Okay, of the paint, I put the tape quite close because I wanted to pretty much have the background cover with water. Okay, let's uh, zoom in. Oh, zoom back in this way. Okay, ah. Uh, should I give it a little bit? Yeah, like right there, okay? And so I'm going to, you know, at first I wanted to do the um, water level, but I think I'm just going to cover this whole place um, as water. And uh, so that's uh, what my plan is. And uh, I think it will be a good plan, okay? But over here on the top, I'm going to use my same indigo and royal blue, but um, I'm going to, uh, okay, you will see, okay? Now let's just start with that, okay? Let's start with the royal blue. Um, and also, I, I I know that you know you guys might be um, being able to do the background. A big part of a background is uh, quite hard, okay. And uh, I, um, you know, at least it's hard for me, okay. So that is a uh, that is the uh, royal blue color, okay. And but I wanted to um, so. If you guys, uh, you know, start to beginning to do that um, and you felt like, oh, wow, this is really hard because, you know, the water, uh, the edges are dry, you know, so I'm suggesting that you guys might follow me to start in a diagonal, okay? To just give you guys some confidence in the beginning and then as you pull it out, okay? Pull out, you know, the water. But don't worry, though, because the underwater really is kind of patchy. And so if you guys feel like, oh, I'm doing this and it's so patchy, you know, yeah, you know, don't be too hard on yourself, okay? Give yourself a break that you know that, you know, but it, as you do that, you come down this way, you gain more confidence as you come more over here, okay? Now, and so I'm keeping this quite wet, okay, the area. Again, if you can't see it, I, you probably can't see the wetness, but I will just tell you, okay? And so, in my uh, uh, Daniel Smith uh, color, I have a turquoise blue, okay? And so I'm going to, because this is closer to the top of the, in, of the ocean, I guess to the water line, and so you will be able to see more of a turquoise color, and as it goes down, then uh, at least that's how I, how I imagine it. Actually, my father... Uh, like to, um, my father actually uh, grew up in China. I, like I tell you, it's in a fishing village, right? So they don't have the beach, but they have um, they have lakes. They have a lot of lakes. Okay. Um, now it, it, I get to this point, I'm beginning to feel like this brush is uh, not uh, fat enough, the belly to cover the water. So now I'm what I'm doing is I'm changing to this bigger brush. Okay, I've told you guys it's the Dugato. I think it's on the my daughter has put it on the on the list that you can uh, you can find it on Amazon. Amazon, okay. And so um, I you know will change to a bigger brush because a bigger brush for bigger area. Okay, it's always the truth. Okay, and just um, you know be happy, you know, and just be dropping in color, just rotating, you know, give yourself more turquoise up this way than when you're down here, okay? And then we're gonna, I'll show you, I'm just gonna lightly bring the turquoise onto the well, okay? Now, over here, I'm going to leave a little bit of white area. What? Why am I le leaving the white area? Because I wanted to do the, I wanted to reserve some area for me to put in some clownfish, okay? So how about right there? We'll put one clownfish right there. Okay. Now don't worry about Mr. Whale, okay? We're getting close to him. You you can see me. I just like kind of slap, you know, some color over there. And if I regret it, then I can just fix it and put it back. You know? Over there a little bit, okay? Don't don't really have to worry too much, okay, about this kind of thing. Now somebody is actually at the door. I have to confess to you. I am in my room and I think that they might be able to see because <laughs> that I'm here because my light is uh, so bright. Okay, uh, because of the 2,500 2, lumens, right? It's really, really bright. Oh, my husband is still here. He actually opened the door. Good for him, for me, you know. Okay, and then here I'm putting some indigo, okay? So you're seeing that I'm rotating between the free color, okay? Now, you need to come back over here and make sure that around his uh, his uh, face over here, 
that it, uh, you have a soft line okay that's a very soft line here so a soft area there that's kind of almost whitish and that will give me the give me the chance to uh, put in uh, a clown fish over there okay and so I'm very very happy now uh, before I come back over here I'm just gonna leave that alone because that area is kind of muted right okay I'm going to come back over here you know I always like uh, just uh, straight in the go when it come deeper into the ocean that's what I usually do okay as it go deeper but I don't want it to be you know I like things to be um, kind of what do you call that uh, you know mixed color okay so I don't want so I I just went and dip in my uh, royal blue okay and so remember the fin over here I wanted a little bit of white so I'm gonna come over here and carefully go around the fin okay and then make sure that the background will uh, help to accentuate the the fin okay the area of the fin right like there okay you see that and then I'm going to continue now uh, just remember that indigo is very sedimentary okay and so if you just leave it for a minute it will just uh, likes to just uh, kind of okay I'm just gonna do a hard edge here for you like over here right you know just a second a few seconds of uh, not touching it now if you uh, don't like the feeling this feeling of being out of control you can always put a little bit of water over here and that will buy you a second a few more seconds okay now so here I am somehow I knew that I can scrub it out so I wasn't like too worried okay come in with more uh, an indigo mix you know and you know that at this time at this part is uh, this part is uh, all dry okay but you know don't let that bother you okay if you felt like oh heck you know I have too many of this harsh line right there okay try your best and take a brush and just kind of try to soften it and see if it does that for you okay at the very end it will it will um, it will just kind of come together because you know you see that oh okay it does look like the ocean anyway I really shouldn't have to you know really worry about that too much but I know that that feeling okay now over here there is a uh, space over here right um, that I have left earlier because I, I say that this is where you do the form right if you leave white area then the form will look more round and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop actually a tag of uh, a turquoise over here it's like the turquoise water had bring a reflection to this whitish area of the whale and I think that that's very pretty okay so that's how I'm going to do that and I'm quite happy because the whale now you can see that he kind of blend himself Mr. Whale blend himself into the sea uh, which is exactly what a whale will do right okay and I'm going to leave that with a little bit of a line there so you can see the difference okay now over here I'm coming back over here now and on the belly of the of the whale I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to bring the turquoise in here because it has enough of indigo and royal blue but only a little bit of turquoise right and so if I bring the turquoise color back here it will make it looks like it will be more ha harmonious with the with the background okay and so it's actually quite pretty I like that okay now I'm going to uh, come down over the edge of the painting over here and I guess I'll just do some royal blue over here okay okay now I'm going to come over here and soften this edge you know just uh, with uh, a water a brush with uh, not a lot of water just soften that area and I'm going to soften this area and I'm going to leave this area white why is that that's for my clownfish to go so I will see how many clownfish I can fit into this area and that area over there okay and then I will I will actually explain a little bit uh, what I'm going to do because the proportion of the whale to the clownfish is very big number okay it's a very uh, big proportion because we know that the clownfish is just so small it can fit fit in your fish tank and uh, the whale is like so humongous but we're gonna try our best uh, to do something you know to do something it is uh, not proportionately correct but it's still going to be happy for us okay and so I am pulling some of the uh, for some of the indigo actually into the fin and so it just make everything very very 
it makes everything very very uh, very very uh, consistent okay you know it's like almost like what I wanted to do is like almost like the whale is you know mixing in with the water which is exactly what we want it to happen okay all right and so you know this area is left and that's a little area is left and now you know we really have uh, no um, stress and just going to finish the rest of the the sea okay and I'm letting the water go into the fin letting the color I mean sorry go into the fin and just uh, be happy and don't worry about it too much okay you you realize that with my painting I do not do a lot of um, I do not go into a lot of the whole background with you guys and I don't do a lot of the whole background but um, with the water animal you have to do that you know because they're living in the sea I guess another way we can do that is also you know I and I have done that in a year past you know uh, what I will do is I will make an area an abstract area and pretend that that is the you know the background you know that you can see you know a, a pretty abstract shape and then I will just do that and sometimes I do that because um, you know it's not necessary that you have to do the whole background but I thought oh this is not going to be a long painting so maybe I should do that with you guys and so I decided to do that you know just just go around you know and mix um, and, and do the whole background I'm going to do it quite intensely down here because it is a darker area, especially you know that the whale is casting a shadow onto the water, right? And so it will, you know, it will be good that if we can, we intensify the, the indigo color in the bottom, okay? You know, I am going to, I am already working on a, on a painting uh, that I want to paint with you and my husband called it the, um, the stained glass effect. And so you will know as uh, as we go what, what I'm talking about, okay? And it is quite fun, and it will be um, not very long time in the distance. Maybe in uh, let's see, in uh, August, probably the end part of August. It will be you know I will have time to do that, and uh, you will know. It's the stained glass is also about water animal, but uh, it's a fantasy kind of uh, painting, and it will be very fun. So you guys have something to stay tuned and and we can do that together, okay? And uh, and uh, I think the stained glass kind of painting style, you know, is a very good one and uh, I think it's quite pretty. And my husband always wanted me to do more of the stained glass effect, he called it. And so we're going to do that together. Because this is summertime and uh, I don't know, in the winter, I just don't feel like I wanted to do. But doesn't um, he appear like he's you know mixing in the water i'm actually quite happy of what's what happened here okay it's still a little bit wet so i wanted to intensify the indigo over here okay it really looks like he's just uh swimming in the water right it's quite pleasing okay so i'm quite happy with him and now let's go up to the clownfish part okay now before we actually go into the clownfish i'm going to let this uh, stay over here and I'm going to show you what I mean, uh, what I'm going to do, okay? Because you won't be able to see it very well. So I wanted to show you what I'm doing. I'm actually using the brush to do some drawing of the clownfish. But since the clownfish are so small, I just want to show you, okay? Now this is uh, the shape of a fish, right? And I'm going to go in and with my with my paintbrush, you know, kind of one brush, and I'm going to do that, and maybe I will show the fin a little bit, okay? So that's what you will see, okay? And then I'm going to just show you another shape, okay? So this is another shape uh, of the clownfish, okay? This is a 0 0.3, it's a very, very uh, small, okay? I'm going to go to fish shapes like that, and I'm going to get his fin over here, okay? And I might do a fin over here. Okay, so this is what you'll be doing, you'll be seeing. You won't be seeing um, a lot of detail, but what you'll be seeing is I'm looking like I'm using my brush and just slapping in different shape, okay? Now that will be another shape of a clownfish, okay? And I might do the back fin like right like that, okay? So that will be the three. Let's, let's see if we will, if three of them is enough and uh, we will go from there, okay? Now, uh, this part is really, really wet, but I can feel that this part is dry, okay? So I can just go ahead and do that with my brush, and I'm going to 
uh, zoom you in a little bit. And just I always have to tell myself, Kathy, just remember to zoom back out, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm going to use the uh, zero 02, I think, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my cadmium yellow medium and mix in with the cadmium red medium and uh, try to do my best to get a uh, orange color as vibrant as I can get it okay and uh, try to get that color mix so it's like quite an intense color okay and uh, hopefully it won't be too orange it'll be, it'll be um, you know more I mean not be too yellow but uh, okay so over here and uh, more like an orange okay so I'm going to just do a little bit okay so you will ever so slightly be able to see a shape but not really okay that's why I draw it out for you so you will see that okay I'm actually painting a little fish over there okay I hope you can see that okay now now this now this is the second one which is the one with the curve okay and I think that that's already um, too big in compared to the size, but that's the best we can do. And sometimes we can do that because we're artists, right? And so we uh, make up our own rules and uh, we do our best to try to convey the subject that we, you know, we wanted to do. Okay, and that's, that's his back fin, okay, that I'm doing now. Okay, and a little bit of the side fin, okay, right there, okay. Okay, so that's the second fish. Okay, let's do the third one that is going to go up this way. Go up this way. Okay, look like I need more orange color. Go up this way. And uh, he's kind of like a triangle shape with a little bit of a, f a back fin showing over here and a little bit of a side fin, okay? And maybe a little bit over there, okay? And that's it. <laughs> because I wanted to not make it too big, okay? And so that's it. That's what we're going to do with that free little uh, fin over there, okay? And so, let me see. Okay, I'm not even going to bring the... You know, I'm not even going to bring... I actually have five of them. Should I do a couple more? Do we have time? Let's do a couple more. Let's do a couple more of the fish, okay? Then it will be kind of more festive. It's like a party, a party going on. Okay, let's see. Let's have one facing this way. Facing this way with his fins coming this way and that way and the back fin. Okay, there's one more over there. <laughs> you know, I, I like to do things like this and one facing like going up this way, okay? And so this one is more traditional and normal. Okay, okay, that's five fish. Okay, and we had already dropped some turquoise over there, okay? And so I'm going to um, back up a little bit and say goodbye to you guys at this point. Isn't that fun? I've promised you guys a whale for a long time. Uh, and so it's in the middle of summer and maybe we're all dreaming to go. And I'm going to put a couple line over here and then soften it, okay? Because I know that they should have line over there. And, uh, and uh, we can be dreaming. We're actually whale watching. Maybe going to Alaska or I don't know, like my sister-in-law do and, and uh, or uh, my husband's sister-in-law actually or going somewhere where we can actually have opportunity doing that. Like yeah, and my sister was at San Diego and she wanted to take us to, to see but then they decided that they don't want to, it's, they decided it's not very humane to put the radar on the fish and uh, try to track them and know exactly where they are so that program i think was gone so by the time we wish to go um we didn't get to and so and that was um you know that was our chance actually i uh, do get motion sickness when i'm in a small boat small boats that means if it's, it's not huge you know even in huge boat i get i get motion sickness so i wasn't like too sad about it but I thought that if that were to happen, that would have been fun. Anyway, I was just uh, putting a, a sharper point over there, okay? And when I uh, turn this off, I'm going to put a little bit of white on the eye area, okay? Just to give it a little bit of highlight. So that I, uh, I need to go fetch my uh, little white uh, paint over here. And so that's it. And I will uh, do an intro and this uh, 
Ping Along will be done. And thank you so much for painting with me. I hope you guys really have fun and look forward to the, the stained glass uh, one that, well, actually I can, I, I will do some kind of animal, uh, sea animal in a jar. Okay, that's what I, I am planning to do. And so that will be really fun for us to do that together. Okay, and so some more things too. And so I hope that you will do this and remember to subscribe to me and I will see you in the next painting. Okay, love you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. <laughs>